Okay, <clears throat> today we are going to uh, discuss one issue of uh, quotations, quotations, sources. I would like to um, put it as something like the ratio of who by what. What is about what you are saying? What what is being written? Various points. But who is about your sources? Mentioning the sources. Okay. Okay, let us put it, put this differently. You are making a point, you are saying certain things, you are giving your own judgment. Okay. So, you are writing like this, like this, like this, yours, yours. But I find examination is not about what you what you think and uh, how you think i noticed really that um, an examiner may not be in a uh, position to judge your viewpoint may not be in a position to judge your uh, the competence wisdom in which you are generating your views okay you may disagree with me but my idea of the examiner and the exam is that poor very poor My idea of the examiner is poor, very poor. So he can't really judge you. He's not in a position to judge you. So what I um, expect from you, what I expect from you to face this crisis, to face this problem, is that mention sources. Sources. Who? Quotes. Okay, this is the point according to him, according to this source, according to the conclusion. Okay. It is not that you keep on giving sources, quotations, who said and you don't have anything. It is not like that. But you have something, you have a logic, you have a flow, you are moving in a particular way. but wherever you are drawing from other sources or wherever others also shared your viewpoint okay then you mention who okay it is easier for the examiner to evaluate okay mm. But who are these who? How do you go about them? What I suggest is that you make it a habit that whatever you are reading, pay attention to sources. Pay attention. Sources. Don't just make a note of the point and then say this is a good point or a bad point. But pay attention to who is saying it. The author. Author or a report. Or a... Um, any study. Any study. 
it can be newspaper magazine or a book paying attention to sources not simply what but who and what is the evidence okay and then make notes and remember remember okay so it's not about quotations it is about attention to the sources making notes remembering and mentioning the sources in your answers okay and definitely you can underline the source when you are mentioning it when you are mentioning the source okay so i think this is a uh, good habit that uh, you should develop don't think that you are you are if you are quoting somebody it means that you can't think like him it is not like that uh, it is just that examiner will be in a better position to appreciate understand if you mention the source he will be more sure more certain uh, that is not the way system should should have been the examiner should be in a position to judge examiner should be in a position to judge your raw intelligence your ability to think not the ability to quote and memorize but unfortunately examination is far from perfect so you are well advised to pay attention to the sources and mention the sources okay make it a habit to write the source of what you are learning be it authors people quotes case studies like that okay and uh, if you combine general studies and also optional if you are optionally social sciences um you will you notice that there are certain issues which are common to general studies and optionals general studies across papers and let's say which keep coming recurrently so uh, identify certain core areas core areas across subjects and within that core areas memorize quotes sources within those core areas okay but uh, quotation doesn't mean you reproduce everything quotation can simply mean uh, essential words essential words and the person okay so the lesson from this is that mm, not that you be intelligent and you be original and think but that you look informed you look informed okay rather than original it does not mean you shouldn't be original but maybe your originality is in um, drawing from various sources the way you connect the way you conclude you you may have originality in that sense no it does not say it doesn't i don't mean that you shouldn't have but you are well advised to make a case that this is not the thing that only you are thinking but this is the thing that others also are thinking some expert is thinking some report has said it not a good part of the exam but this is how the exam is so i am uh, saying that this is a ratio of who by what what refers to the content and who refers to evidence and sources so i am saying you should raise the ratio of who by what pay attention to this thank you